Welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at how to paint a juggernaut of corn for a blood crusher of corn miniature. This is a very simple way to get your juggernauts painted and you can use it as template to paint any other mechanical looking demon. The blood letter on top uh, is painted as in my previous blood letter tutorial, so check that out if you would like to know how. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you would like to further support my channel, stay tuned after the video to learn how. I'm going to start by priming the model with Army Painter Dragon Red colored primer. This is to save a step, but you can use any primer that you would like. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to use Lead Belcher to paint all of the mechanical silver parts on the Juggernaut. I'm not going to be painting the blood letter at the same time as this video progresses, but uh, you can see that in my previous tutorial if you would like to know how to paint a blood letter of corn. Just remember to thin down your paints. I'm using a size 2 brush, synthetic, and uh, I'm just uh, blocking up all of the places that I want to be silver. Uh, you can use uh, Liquitex drying retarder if you'd like, the liquid kind, uh, that really helps the flow of the metallic paint and lets you work with it a little bit more than usual. Next. I'm going to use known oil. Once the previous layer is dry, I'm going to give it a heavy wash of black wash. And I'm using a large brush from Citadel and I'm uh, washing all of the silver parts on the model. I'm not too concerned about painting on the other places of the juggernaut. I'm just hitting the silver parts and if it gets into other places it doesn't matter because it's gonna get covered later with more layers. Once that's dry I'm going to use Iron Breaker and this color I'm going to dry brush it with a medium size dry brush and I'm using a very dry dry brush I'm taking most of the paint until none of it is showing on the paper towel and then I'm dry brushing over the metallic and picking up only the most raised parts and uh, giving it a uh, highlight that way. This is very easy, don't worry if you get into other places of the model, you can clean it up afterwards. I'm going to use corn red and with this color I'm going to base coat the armor of the Juggernaut. Now this step is a little bit weird because uh, it looks the same color as the Dragon Red, but the Dragon Red is more similar to Mephiston Red and not Corn Red. Corn Red has a little bit more uh, darker tint, a little bit of blue, I would say. It looks a little bit uh, violet y, not as a vibrant red as the Mephiston Red. And uh, it's gonna look a lot different once it dries. And, or you can see it right here that it looks a little bit different from the red from the blood letter. So this is going to, going to require uh, a couple of coats. Uh, make sure to thin down the paint so that it goes smoothly onto the model and don't leave any brush strokes or marks. Once that's done you can see the difference on the reds there. And I'm going to use Balthasar Gold to start base coating all of the gold details around the juggernaut. This is uh, another simple step, the same as when applying the silver. We're going to thin it down with a little bit of water or drying retarder if you prefer. And I'm just trying to carefully uh, pick out all of the gold details on the model with a size 2 brush. Once that's done, we're going to wash the model again with, this time, um, 
Agrax Earthshade. And this is going to be different, it's going to be done with a fine detail brush from Citadel or whatever brand of brushes do you prefer. Just try to use your fine detail brush to do this and uh, we're going to apply it on the edges of the gold and all of the crevices themselves with the fine detail brush. Um, you could also shade the whole area, the whole red area if you would like, but that'll mean that you will have to come back and clean up the corn red with another layer of corn red and that's fine if you would like to do that but I uh, try to make it a little bit different and keep uh, the rest of the model clean because it's a big model and I didn't want to take the extra step. Next I'm going to edge highlight the Juggernaut with Evil Sun Scarlet and using again the fine detail brush and drying retarder to help me keep the tip moist I'm going to um, edge highlight all of the edges around the juggernaut that are visible and also on the scratches I'm going to highlight the lower edge where the light hits the the dent on the armor and uh, I'm trying to go a little, little bit thin but it doesn't matter if it's not thin enough because uh, from a distance uh, thin lines are not very visible, so that's okay. Next, I'm going to use Sycorax Bronze, and uh, with this color, I'm going to highlight all of the brass areas around the model. Um, I'm going to prat practically apply it uh, very uh, liberally over open areas, like on the top of the shoulder of the Juggernaut there, but on the rest of the areas, I'm trying to avoid the rivets and crevices. Uh, so that it, the shade is still on the crevices giving a shade to this color. Again, thinning your paints is very important to give uh, very thin coats and a nice coverage on your miniature. If the first, uh, the first layer didn't cover too well, you can go ahead and give it a second coat or a third coat is, if it's necessary. Uh, for the metallics, one coat was enough for me. So now that that's done, uh, most of the Juggernaut is finished. I'm going to use Aerial Yellow to paint the eyes. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. This is how I painted all of my Blood Crushers so far. And this is the end result. I'm very happy with the way this Blood Crusher turned out. It has few steps, it looks great, and it's such an amazing model. Although the rules aren't amazing, uh, they will certainly have a special place in my Demon Keen army because they are pretty, pretty awesome. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial and I hope you found it informative and helpful. And if you like it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you on the next video. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel, you can become my Patreon on Patreon. 
You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing, but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.